Hey everybody, this is Pelvis. Welcome to another edition of This Day in Rock and Roll History. Today's February 1st, 2022. We're going to go all the way back to February 1st, 1949. So sit down, buckle up, and let's get rolling. February 1st, 1949, RCA Records issued its first ever 45 RPM single. The invention of this size record made jukeboxes possible, baby. February 1st, 1964, the Beatles started the seven week run at number one on the US singles chart with I Wanna Hold Your Hand. February 1st, 1965, at the Arthur Smith Studios in Charlotte, North Carolina, James Brown recorded Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. February 1st, 1967, at Abbey Road Studios in London, the Beatles started working on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. February 1st, 1972, Chuck Berry had his first UK number one single with a recording of a song he'd been playing for over 20 years. Ma ding a ling, baby. February 1st, 1992, George Michaels and Elton John with the number one on the U.S. singles chart with Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. February 1st, 2009, Bruce Springsteen started a two-week run at number one on the U.K. album chart with Working on a Dream, his 16th studio album. All right, that was February 1st in rock and roll history. Listen, if you want to make some rock and roll history with this old man, send me your music if you're an independent musician. Even if you're, even if you're a musician, send your music to me if you want to get it out in the world. I have a show called Screw the News where I spotlight music, independent artists, any artist. Put something together, send it to me. I may put it on the show. Listen, Screw the News 2020 at gmail.com. What you got to lose? It costs you nothing, not a zip. All right, this is Belvis saying, for February 1st, 2022, take care of one another. Bye-bye.